I'm behind the camera this time only because the tripod is too far away it's behind that wall in my bedroom <laughs> yeah too far away okay here's what I was doing today um, since my son oh see why isn't this I don't know it's not focusing really really good here so I have been working a lot since I'm trying to move the focus to be like in the middle of the room I don't know if this is helping any better. I sure hope it is because it's supposed to automatically focus. But anyway, I'm going to hold it here. Um, this is the living room and I've moved the couch. I separated it because it's the L shape sectional thingy, which I absolutely hate at this point. We've had it now for 15 years and I'm ready to get rid of it because this house is much smaller than our other house when we, before we moved down to Texas and this couch fit perfectly with that chair so this fit beautifully in our old living room only because it was it was much much bigger this one is a smaller one so i've been wanting to get rid of these couches or this couch rather because it doesn't fit well anyway so since the son my son is gone for the week on a mission trip i'm taking advantage of cleaning the house where he has sat where i have taken video before and i've turned I was getting discouraged so I think I needed to film some of this now because I've been working on and off all day. I had an exterminator come today because of the fire ants and that was my fire ant the other day. And um, I was so happy to see him. So anyway, so the outside is taken care of. So now um, I'm in the house and I started working in the corner back here. I went into my son's room and I got out a gigantic bag of garbage so I closed his door and I'll do part two next. And then I went into this room, which is the office room or and second bedroom, uh, guest room. And, oh, there's stuff all over the floor. I almost fell on my face. Um, so in here, you can't really tell what I did because I don't think I really showed it all that much. But there was, um, on the floor here, there was one uh, large pile of mail that I went through earlier while I was waiting for him to do the outside. So I got through with that. And I've got four bags of garbage now. Um, cause I went into my son's room. I came in this room. I got in our bathroom in our bedroom and I picked up, um, known garbage, I guess, whatever looks like garbage. I know you kind of can't tell that still because I still have the clothes. So I'm still working on the clothes. I got to get through this donate pile and the rest of this has, um, clean clothes and donate. So in the back there in the bathroom, you probably can't see too well, but I eliminated a lot of garbage in that little garbage can. I took the garbage out of that as well. So I am going to be coming back to this room. And then I came into my son's bathroom. This is all you need to see. <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyway, so I cleared out whatever garbage was in here, which there wasn't very much. It was just a couple pieces. His bedroom got one full bag of garbage, a 13 gallon one. So that, let's see how it's looking now. It looks better. I don't know that you can tell, but it does look better. I'm going to get a clean sheet and all that stuff on his bed. Um, the lights, there we go. So I still got to get out the dishes, but I picked up all the garbage and everything. This is the clean, these are all the clothes that were under his bed that were clean that I asked him to put away. Now they're dirty. So I'm going to come back in here and finish up his room. And sorry for the movement. So then back to the living room. So I started working in here and I turned this chair over and there was a massacre under here. Marshmallows, wrappers, clothes, socks, cups. I don't know how he fit all that under here, but it was all down here. And of course, lots and lots of gajillion crumbs from potato chips and every other thing. So I got that all vacuumed up in this spot. And then I moved that couch and tipped it over. And then I was getting very discouraged um, because my body is killing me. I'm not very thin right now. So the body just hurts from a lot of the bending from picking up the garbage and all that stuff. So 
my back is kind of killing me. I did take two Excedrin about 10 minutes ago, so hopefully that'll start kicking in because I don't want to quit since uh, today's Tuesday now, about almost five o'clock, and I only have Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and probably almost, well, all day Saturday until about six o'clock, and then he comes back home. So I want to have as much of this done as possible and cleaned up, and so then I moved that couch back, and I've already vacuumed, um, believe it or not, I've already vacuumed once through here, once through all back there, and once through all of here, and my bucket is full. Again, that's the third vacuum bucket that I've gotten, and, and I'm still not done vacuuming. It's amazing what gets under a couch when you don't move it. Well, I guess... If it was just my husband and I, we wouldn't be putting clothes and balls, a cell phone, a glass that's there on the floor that's broken that I have to throw away. Uh, silverware, I'm finding silverware all over. I found a dish underneath that, um, underneath this big couch right here. There was a dish under there, a cup, spoons, um, and this little pile. I Actually, this pile right here, this is um, part of what was underneath that chair except for that radio, but all of this stuff, um, and of course the table, but all this stuff was underneath that chair with the marshmallows, the bag, of, the empty bag of potato chips and other things. I found the two remote controls for the TV that he's been looking for, my son. Where's the remote? Where's the remote? Under the chair, right here, under the chair. Look under the chair. So this is where I'm at. And again, this is because I was starting to get discouraged because my goal to finish the house by Saturday of decluttering it's not going to have any deep cleaning. I've already come to terms with that today. But um, the deep cleaning will have to take place another time. And then all of this decluttered stuff. So what I did actually last night, my husband has a lot of old phones. So this whole pile here actually literally is my husband's. And the stuff on the couch is my husband's. So I, yeah. Anyway, so that's my husband's stuff that I picked up and put on the couch, except for the sorry game, of course. I found that someplace else where it didn't belong. Um, but anyway, I picked all that up. Um, well, almost. I'm going to pick it up in the back. And then all of my husband's phones, they lined the whole back of the couch all the way around the whole L shape um, because he loves the antique phones and he's been collecting these since before him and I even met. So he's been collecting this actually all of his adult life. And partial teenager because we have a really cool switchboard so what I did was they're all dusty and filthy these are the phones that we're gonna try and decide where to put here in the house um, to use and actually one of them is mine this one right here this beige one I'm so excited this is the phone that we grew up on uh, from the 60s and the 70s and it was in the basement of uh, my grandmother's house and in Chicago it was the three oh it's not gonna focus good oh, darn it so Let's see. No, it's just not. Well, anyway, so the phone number on there is AR60630. I still remember it till this day. And so this was the phone that we used a ton at my grandmother's house. And we actually, I have, I don't see it here. I have my phone from childhood. It was a black one. Uh, we have one, I have a black one like this that belonged to us personally. And then I have the regular, oh, I don't see it. So anyway, it was the regular one that, uh, like this, but not this old fashioned, that's old fashioned. The more modern ones from the 70s and stuff that were that with the um, with the dialer on it. And our phone number there was 312, um, 312-235-5246. So that was my childhood phone number. So I guess I spent a lot of time explaining all this, but I was getting discouraged, so I had to do something. Um, because like I said, it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon and this is where I'm at, but I really want to finish this room tonight. So the stuff that's back there and on the couch, I'm going to remove all that there because what I'm going to do with the couch, uh, I'm going to try and I'm going to put it on the tripod in a little bit. I have to run down the road and get the dogs because actually I took them down to doggy daycare for the day since I had the exterminator here and stuff like that. And then also somebody who had to come to check. We have one dead tree in the back. So I wanted him to give me an estimate on getting that removed and we're going to do that on Thursday. So I wanted to make sure that the dogs weren't here because they're good watchdogs and uh, the people who came today probably did not want to lose a lamb. So little Chad. Chad is the one who is definitely the one. Anyhow, so I'm talking too much and I'm saying so, so, so too much. 
it's driving me crazy and so this room I'm gonna stop saying that so every time I say that I should pay myself a dollar I'd be rich I'm going to finish cleaning up this room and I'm gonna put this full um, the camera on the tripod so that I can get um, some of it I can't stop saying that word uh, get some of this filmed and then my son's t the TV thingy back there and his computer is behind the chair I'm gonna get that put somewhere too and then hopefully work on getting his PS4 out of here and put that in the barn by my husband so he can play out there. And here's the kitchen. I have been working like a maniac in here. I made a bigger mess, however, um, the shredder, I pulled out the shredder because I was going through mail, so I have um, a pile on this ladder while well, I was putting dishes away. So I needed the ladder because I'm too short to reach way up there in the top cabinet. And so I was getting through the mail here and then my Myers, well my, or Grove Collaborative stuff I still have to put away and here I was doing my shredding as I was getting out the mail that I knew was to be shredded that's bag number one two three four bag number five I'm working on garbage and over here we have the other three and then this one is starting this is four over here and then I took out two bags they're in the garage already and this box right here is I started a donate that uh, box this one looks to be full, so I will have to get another box and continue the donating. I also have out here, this is the sunroom. This is the room that I want it to be the sewing, painting, craft, you know, kind of a room. And over here, these clothes are ready for donation, the bag and that box and whatever's going to come out of my bedroom as well. I guess that kind of sums all this up in this little area here. This is going to be where my sewing machine stays and I'll be fixing that up. I think I have all of this under control now and I do feel so much better that I got to share some of this because discussing all this, I think I've been doing pretty good and I didn't take too many breaks either. I only took one long one around 1 o'clock, uh, 1.30, whatever it was, around 1.30 to eat an egg sandwich and then the landscaper tree guy came at that time and I was out there with him for about 45 minutes. We had to go over everything and walk around the property and get the estimate for the tree and the shrubs and all that good stuff. And I can go outside pretty soon too and get a look at all of that. Let's go do that really quick too. But I'm still working here in the kitchen and gonna get the rest of this mail and all this stuff done on the counter of course too but like I said I'm gonna do the living room first and then this box right here this is all mail except for the shower head that we're gonna put in my son's um, in his shower when his dad um, has a chance we're gonna get that in there this week but this is basically all mail and paper that needs to be gone through and shredded and or whatever with I guess what we'll do before I run and pick up the dogs let's go outside I was gonna stop it but I'm gonna I can edit this part out. All right, let's run outside and I will show you what we're gonna do. We also had termite traps put in because we don't have termites, but we don't want them. These green things, there's 29 of them, I think he said all over the property he put, and they will definitely keep from getting any of the termites the shrubs that we're gonna do it's really pretty out here I love it out here very much so so these are the shrubs that I want nice and even and low so probably a little bit lower than it is there in that corner and then it goes all the way around to the front and also in this little corner right here this little corner and in this corner, behind right there, that spot, there's actually the water spigot for the hose and everything, but the holly hurts so much and all the weeds, there's a viney weed in there that has a gajillion thorns on them, and oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how painful that is. I have worked several times over this summer and last summer to cut down some of these things. I just can't get past here. So that's that, and we're gonna have this taken care of on Thursday morning, and all of this and this is where my front porch is but you can't see that because the shrubs are so high I can't even look out and enjoy people or well there's no people cars that pass by because we're kind of in the country here and 
this is our little sitting area that I'm trying to, oh, they moved stuff around, that's okay. I want to be able to sit out here. And then this tree, I love this tree. It's purple in the beginning of the spring. And so what we're gonna do is he's gonna take these long things that are hanging here, these leaves or these branches and get rid of those for me because when I mow the lawn, they hit me in the face and it's really quite painful. Oops. And then around the back on this side, this is the other direction on the other side of our house. This tree is doing fine. It's starting to lose its leaves. But these things right here that are where our air conditioning unit is behind there, they're gonna take down all these for me. And then the tree that's dead that we're removing is right here. This is the tree that's dead. We're so sad that it's dead because it really is pretty. And then all those shrubs that go all the way around to the left there and into the backyard, they're gonna all be trimmed nice and even so that they don't poke us in the faces. And I think I'm getting bit by another fire ant. I think they're mad at me because we put out the poison and I did get bit earlier when I came out here to talk to the landscaping guy. As soon as I walked out into the grass, I got bit by a really big one too. Alrighty, well, I think that takes care of all of this. And again, thank you for listening and watching. I feel so much better that I got all that off my chest. And here's the beautiful view from my front porch. It's just so pretty out here. Compared to Chicago, this is what I wanted. Just beautiful. I love it. Well, please like, share, subscribe. And I am hoping that you will be enjoying the rest of what I'm going to be doing for cleaning and maybe be able to do some more fun videos. If there's anything that you want me to try and film or do, uh, leave stuff in the comments. Let me know what it is you're looking for. And if I can do it, I will make a video on it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really am enjoying this, um, doing these videos on YouTube. I truly am. And it's so fun to actually have people see them and be excited by them. Thank you so much for all your comments and things. So again, please like, share, subscribe. Bye!